Ecologic Marine Units were commissioned by GEO, the Group on Earth Observations. GEO is a voluntary partnership of more than 200 nation governments and conservation organizations from around the world. Together, the GEO community is creating an Earth Observation System of Systems, a set of coordinated independent Earth Observation Systems that interact and provide direct access to the state of the Earth. ESRI has been working with GEO, USGS, NOAA, and oceanographers from around the world to produce the first ever quantitatively defined ocean ecosystems map. The goal of the project was to create a framework for capturing and analyzing the ocean's water column information and then using statistical methods characterize the unique ecologic waters of the ocean. NOAA provided a multidimensional 3D data set that included temperature, salinity, dissolved oxygen, nitrate, silicate, and phosphate. These variables represent key indicators that drive ecologic diversity in our oceans. The cylinders that are filling the ocean represent the water column from the surface to the bottom of the ocean. The water column is divided into 37 distinct ecologic marine units. These distinct units are a combination of six variables that drive ecosystems in the ocean. In this area off the coast of Puerto Rico, you can see different ecological units at the surface when comparing the northern to the southern shores. Looking at the deep water in the southern area, there's a single unit seen in light green that dominates the deep water. When moving to the southern shore, you can see there's a unique deep water unit in dark green that doesn't exist in the southern area. This dark green unit is very cold, high saline water mass that extends from the Arctic along the bottom of the ocean all the way to the equatorial areas of the Atlantic. It's characterized by cold temperatures of 1 to 3 centigrade, while the water at the surface is closer to 22 degrees centigrade. This deep water unit is what drives a process known as the thermohaline circulation. This is a process that drives the major ocean currents and circulates water across the entire planet. Now let's move to Japan. You can quickly notice the colors have moved from greens to purples in the deep areas. This is because the water in the Atlantic and the Pacific Oceans are very different, and the Pacific Ocean tends to have lower salinity. Ecological marine units are already impacting the ocean research community. Researchers are working to define keystone species that live in these distinct ecological units across the oceans. This ecological ocean map shows what can happen when we bring private and public groups together to solve complex issues. The map will be updated annually and helps provide GEO's mission to better understand and monitor the planet.